What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road of the show here today. So three games set against the Cleveland Guardians, who have a wickedly good record. So this is going to be another tough series. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Bottom of the first, no score. Runner on first and one away for Josh Naylor. He's hitting 311 on the season so far. Third in the American League, actually. He's got a 1 2 count against Zach Gallen. So the wind up and the pitch from him. Oh, yeah, right to me. We'll throw to second. Five, four, and three. There's a double play to retire the side. We're moving on to the second inning. Still no score here in Cleveland. All right, leading off the second. Nobody out, nobody on, obviously, as I'm batting cleanup here. 314, the batting average for me coming into this one. Logan Allen on the mound for the Guardians. And he's got a 93-mile-an-hour four-seamer. And uh, that's all he's got that's quick, really. First pitch from the lefty. Ripped a circle change just above the knees. Foul. And we have an 0-1 count to start this at bat. Next pitch from him. Oh, geez, why am I swinging at that? Sweeping curve way inside. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely an 0-2 count for me as there's no chance of making contact there. The two-strike pitch popped up. Second baseman's going to come in and make the play near the second base bag. And there we go. One away now in the top of the second. Not a productive at-bat for me. Top of the fourth, we come back. It's a 1-1 ball game now. One out, nobody on as I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day. Logan Allen still towing the rubber for Cleveland. And first pitch of the at-bat. Off the inside corner with a four-seamer. And it's a 1-0 and o count to start this at-bat. Second pitch from him. Oh, I pulled a cutter into left field. That's not going to do it. It's caught by the left fielder out near the wall, but... Not quite deep enough for me. I'm short of the warning track there, as you can see. Two away now on the top of the fourth. We come back bottom of the fifth. Cleveland now has a 2-1 to one lead. Runner on first and one away. Jordan Walker at the plate. And uh, he's one for two on the day so far. Hitting 272 on the season. He's got himself a full count against Zach Allen, who's already racked up 65 pitches for his outing. We're looking for a payoff pitch double play, and that's not going to be it. He pulls one into left field. It is caught by the left fielder. So why they had me in there for the fielding opportunity, I will never know. We come back top of the seventh. I'm standing in for the third time today against Logan Allen. He's only thrown 70 pitches to get into the seventh inning now. And I get a dynamic challenge with the bases empty. So uh, we'll try to hit a single or better. That's the whole goal here. First pitch of the at-bat now from Allen. Just off the inside corner. Wow. 1-0 the count to start this at bat. Second pitch from him. Below the knees with the four-seamer, and it's a 2-0 and o count to start this at bat. Come on, big fella. Give me something to swing at here. Well, that was it. That's sent into center field, but the center fielder is going to get to it. <clears throat> the hit streak might be over now at 11 games. Bottom of the seventh, we're back on the field here. Andre Jimenez is out to play for the Guardians. He's got himself a 1-1 count with one out and nobody on here. He's one for two on the day with a solo home run that gave Cleveland the lead there in the fifth inning. The 1-1 pitch is bunted down the third baseline. We'll grab that, throw will be in time. And bunt for a hit is not successful for Jimenez. We come back top of the ninth, I have another chance to get my hit for the day. 7-1 to one the score, though, with uh, Cleveland way out in front. Runner on first, two away. Tanner Scott on the mound. And he throws, what is that, 99 on the four-seamer, if I'm seeing that right. 97 on the sinker, 87 on the slider. And the first pitch is low and inside with that slider. 1-0 and oh the count to start this at-bat. <clears throat> I'd really like to get that base hit here. Second pitch of the A-B on the inside corner with the sinker. Well, inner third, really. And we have ourselves a 1-1 pitch. And late on the four-seamer, fouled it away. The count is now 1-2. and two. Arizona is down to their final strike of the game here. And I swing at a slider way inside to strike out to end it. Oof. Rough day at the plate. Kills the 
uh, hit streak. And uh, yeah, nothing good coming out of that one. So let's move on to game number two, though. And you know what this means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's see what we got going on here today. Top of the first, runner on first, two away. I'm batting cleanup again with a 312 batting average now. Blake Snell on the mound for Cleveland. He hits 98 on the fourth seamer. 91 on his slider, and that's all he's got that's quick. And a curveball below the knees on the inner third. That is swung on and missed. 0-1 the count to start my day here in game two. And then I watch a four-seamer in the zone. What am I doing at the plate here? My gosh. 0-2 pitch on the way. And it's a swing and a miss at a four-seamer just below the knees. Wow. If ever there was a bad at-bat, that was it. Three pitches, three strikes back to the dugout. I go. Wow. Top of the third, it's a 4-2 to two score now. Arizona has the lead. Nobody on, nobody out. Blake Snell still on the mound. We got to do better than that last at-bat. Curveball at the knees, got a piece of that and fouled it away. So we have an 0-1 count to start this at-bat. Second pitch. There's a good rip into center field. That might be off the wall out there. And it's over the wall. Are you kidding me? Okay. <clears throat> solo home run it gets me back in the hit column here <clears throat> good lord oh the pollen here is just killing me today home run number 43 on the season we'll take that that breaks the over on the series let's see what the replay looks like on that one I didn't even look when it was showing it what the distance was I think it's got to be about 430 out there isn't it yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow-mo of the baseball coming in. Slow-mo of the baseball going out. Where's the stats? No? No? There's the stats. We're going to see it there. 407. I figured that was a little deeper than that, but whatever works. Top of the fourth, we come back. 5-2 uh, lead for Arizona. Two outs, nobody on. Blake Snell throwing pitch number 80 of his outing already. Oh, man. He's been getting tore up on the mound, and I pop up a fourth-seamer on the outer third. Catcher's going to make the play, and that's all she wrote for the top of the fourth. They're probably glad to get out of that. <laughs> We're going to move on, though. We're back in the bottom of the fourth. 5-2 to two score. Nobody out, nobody on. Taylor Ward at the plate for Cleveland. He's 0-1 for 1 on the day, but hitting 283 on the season. He's worked himself a 2-2 count against Brandon Bott. And let's see what this pitch turns into here. Hot shot to me at third. We'll get a glove on that. Throw to first will be in plenty of time. One away now in the home half of the fourth. Bottom of the fifth. We come back. Arizona has opened it up to an 8-2 lead. Runner on third and nobody out for Jordan Walker. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a pair of ground outs. Honestly, a ground out here would get him the RBI as well. He's worked an 0-1 count in this at-bat. So the wind-up and the pitch from Fott. Hot shot down the line. We'll scoop it up throw will be the first take the out surrender the run one away now in the bottom of the fifth and the score is now eight to three with Arizona in the lead we move on top of the sixth I'm standing in one for three on the day and let's see what I can do with the bases empty and nobody out with Daniel Espino on the mound for Cleveland out of the bullpen now he hits 99 on his four seamer and uh, 96 on the two seamer nothing else quick First pitch inside with the slider. One and oh count. Had eight RBI in my last ten games. Intriguing. Four seamer there in the top half of the zone. Got a piece of it and fouled it off. The count now moves to one and one. Next pitch from Espino. He shows me another four seamer in the top part of the zone. It goes foul down the right field line. First baseman's over to make the play, and it is caught. So a pop out and foul ground. And uh, that's all she wrote for me at the top of the sixth. Top of the eighth, we come back. It's an eight to five ball game now. I'm standing in one for four on the day, one for eight on the series. That uh, surprise home run is all I've got to show for this series so far. Runner on second, two away, and I get that dynamic challenge because of that runner on second. And uh, we're going to try to hit a double or better with Nick Sandlin on the mound, but it's not going to happen as they intentionally walk me. Why do they give me the dynamic challenge when they know the intentional walk is on in front of 31,068? 
Well, the Diamondbacks do end up taking the win, 8-5 to five this final score here in game number two, so the series is tied at one game apiece. We're going to move on to game number three and see who can win the rubber match of this three-game series. Come on, PlayStation, let's load her in and get this one going. All right, we're here in the top of the first one nothing ball game already. Arizona in the lead. Runner on second, one away, and Tristan McKenzie is the man on the mound for Cleveland in this one. He hits 95 on the four-seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch is a 12-6 curve at the knees. Swung on and missed. 0-1 the count. Second pitch of the at-bat from McKenzie is low and inside. Four-seamer not going to get the call there. 1-1 one and one the count. Third pitch. Ripped into center field. Not going to be a base hit, but it might be deep enough to advance the runner from second to third. And it is. So two away now on the top of the first, and we have a runner on third. Come on, let's get to the next thing. Yep, bottom of the third. 1-1 one, one ball game, two outs, nobody on, and Jose Ramirez is at the plate for the Guardians. He's 0 for 1 on the day and 1 for 9 on the series, with the home run being his only hit. And I, I can relate to that in this one. 0-2 pitch on the way to him from Eduardo Rodriguez. Ground ball to me at third. We'll scoop that up. Throw to first will be in plenty of time. And three innings have come and gone here in Cleveland. We're tied at one run apiece. We come back top of the fourth. I'm leading things off, and I get the boss battle challenge against Tristan McKenzie. Let's see what my options are here. Single or better, double or better, or only swing at pitches inside the zone. We're going for that single or better. <laughs> Probably the most likely one for me to succeed at. First pitch of the at-bat now from McKenzie. 12-6 curve off the plate. Oof. Outside just by a little bit. Swung on and missed. Oh, and won the count. Next pitch is a four-seamer just off the outside corner. One and won the count. Third pitch of the at-bat. Another one outside with the four-seamer. Two and one the count. He is peppering the outside part of the zone there. The 2-1 pitch is in the zone, and I ground it to short. That's not going to do it. 6-3 put out. It's going to end my uh, at-bat there with an out to lead off the top of the fourth. Bottom half of the inning, Lourdes Guriel Jr. is at the plate for the Guardians. He's one for one on the day and has an 0-1 count with the bases empty and nobody out. Wind up and the pitch from Eduardo Rodriguez, and it's a ground ball down the third baseline. We'll scoop that up. Throw across will be in time. One away now in the bottom of the fourth. Top of the seventh, we come back. I'm standing in for the third. Well, yeah, I think third time today. 0 for 2 day at the plate so far. Nobody out, nobody on, and I get another dynamic challenge here. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll try to record a hit after taking the first pitch. Tristan McKenzie still towing the rubber for Cleveland, who now holds a 9-1 lead. Taking all the way here on pitch number one. And that's a good thing. Four-seamer well above the zone. 1-0 and oh the count. Second pitch of the at-bat now from McKenzie. Four-seamer right down the middle. Slightly late on the swing. And it goes fouled out of play. The 1-1 pitch. Way above the zone again. 12-6 curve at my eyes. Wow, that is really up there. Two and one the count for me now against McKenzie. The next pitch. Ripped into right field. Is that one going to get down for a hit? It is not. It is caught by the right fielder out by the warning track. That's just a long and loud first out here in the top of the seventh. We come back top of the ninth. It's an 11-1 ball game now. Arizona just getting their butts handed to him. James Karinchak is now on the mound for the Guardians out of the bullpen. He hits 97 on the four-seamer, 96 on the two-seamer, and he has himself a knuckle curve. First pitch is that knuckle curve off the plate away. One and oh the count after not offering it that one. Second pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer in the top of the zone on the outer third. One and one the count. Oh, and then we get frozen by a two-seamer that was right down the middle almost. One and two the count. The two-strike pitch from Karen check. Four-seamer at the knees called the ball. Wow, I think I got a little lucky on that pitch. That really could have gone either way. The two-two pitch now. Come on, big fella. Oh, we foul off a two-seamer in the top part of the zone. 
So the count stays at 2-2. Two and two. The next 2-2 two -two pitch. Come on, big guy. A four-seamer fouled off. And I am just uh, racking up the pitches here in this at-bat, looking at pitch number seven so far. And still at a 2-2 two -two count. And a little bit late on the knuckle curve on the outer third and fouled that one off. Pitch number eight now. Come on, big guy. We foul off a four-seamer up and in, but in the zone. Two and two, still the count after eight pitches. Pitch number nine of the at-bat. We foul off a two-seamer at the knees. And we're going to do a, yet another 2-2 two -two pitch here. My goodness, pitch number 10 of the at-bat. Come on, big guy. That one's low and away with the four-seamer. Easy take for a ball there. Full count, finally. And payoff pitch number one is going to be pitch number 11 of the at-bat. And the swing and a miss at the knuckle curve gets me. Was wondering when I was going to see that in the at because I don't think I'd seen a knuckle curve yet. And yep, there's another K next to my name, and the Guardians are going to win this one. 11 to 1, the final score. We just got absolutely manhandled, limited to four hits in the game, so you're not going to win with that few of hits hardly ever. So, yeah, rough series for us in Cleveland as we drop two of three. But that's the game of baseball, and since the series is over, that's going to be the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.